was told I got 10 measly minutes. But just in case, I bought 13 hours worth of information. I also came with a message, a message for the president, a message that is loud and clear, a message that doesn't mince words. <laughs> That's not exactly what I was thinking. However, I think he may have distilled my 13-hour speech into three words. The message for the president is that no one person gets to decide the law. No one person gets to decide your guilt or innocence. My question, my question to the president was about more than just killing Americans on American soil. My question was about whether presidential power has limits. Lincoln put it well when he wrote, nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man, give him power. President Obama, who seemed, once upon a time, to respect civil liberties, has become the president who signed a law allowing for indefinite detention of an American citizen. Indeed, a law that allows an American citizen to be sent to Guantanamo Bay without a trial. Now, President Obama defends his signing of this bill by stating that he has no intention of detaining an American citizen without a trial. Likewise, he defended possible targeted drone strikes on Americans by indicating that he had no intention of doing so. Well, my 13-hour filibuster was a message to the President. Good intentions are not enough. The presidential oath of office states, I will protect, preserve, and defend the Constitution. It doesn't say, well, I intend to when it's convenient. Mr. President, good intentions are not enough. We want to know, will you or won't you defend the Constitution? I